Hey everyone, this is Darren with Crazy Minnow Studio, and in this video I'm going to go over a few of the new features that we've got in our timeline add-on for Salsa with Randomize. As you can see in this scene, I've got two box heads. Neither one of them have anything special configured on them. We're going to go ahead and configure Salsa on each one of them, and uh, I'll add a, uh, a Randomize too, just for good measure. Uh, when we add Salsa, you'll notice that uh, we do get an audio source added. And let's go ahead and just auto link Salsa and randomize. On this audio source, we want to make sure we uncheck this play on awake because we are going to let our timeline asset control playback. That all looks good. Let me go ahead and update this other box head. Okay, now let's add an empty object, and this will hold our timeline. Move it up here so it's easier to deal with. And let's set up our timeline editor window. Okay, first thing we need to do is create an actual timeline asset. So click that create button. We'll just store this in our assets. Okay, next thing we'll do is delete this default track. We don't need that. And we are going to add, uh, well, let's start off with just adding one track. So we right click and we go down to Crazy Menno Salsa Timeline and first off we're going to do an audio track. Now this is new from the last timeline add-on update that we had. And uh, what we need to do is add a reference to one of these box head objects. So let's go ahead and drag the first one in here. Since this is controlling an audio source, if we did not have the audio source on there, it would ask us if we want to add one, but we already have one on there. Now let's go ahead and add an audio clip. Right click and select this last option here and we've got an audio clip default. Now let's go ahead and drop in, uh, we'll just drop in one of these and you'll notice that it automatically changes the name of the timeline clip to the audio clip name and also resizes the duration. So let's add a couple more and on this one let's drop that drop that. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and select this so that we can see the uh, audio source here. We'll lock the inspector. We'll switch back to our timeline so we can watch this play. And, uh, and then we should see the audio clip changing as our uh, timeline track progresses. Since also is monitoring the audio source automatically, it will go ahead and play and perform the lip sync. I like where you're going with this. Are you Snapchatting me? Because if you are, that's okay. Don't eat the yellow snow. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and add another audio track. Salsa audio track. And we'll put the second box head in here. And we will add a couple of audio clips to insert in our timeline between these up here. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple. And on this first one, let's use some box head uh, audio, that one there, and on this one, drop our Miss Muffet. Okay, these are a little larger clips, so let's spread everything out here. So you can see we can basically set this up so that our dialogue will flow between these two box head objects. And we're linked to box head one on the top track and box head two on the bottom track. So let's go ahead and play this. I like where you're going with this. I think the lady said back off. Some people just can't take a hint. Are you Snapchatting me? Because if you are, that's okay. Hmm. She looks a little like Miss Muffet. Don't eat the yellow snow. And you get the point. Okay, so the uh, the last feature is in the text sync track. Now this is uh, the first uh, one we published in the timeline add-on and uh, really it's it's the same. We've just added the ability to see the same sort of timeline duration and updating the clip name to be the actual text. So let's just drop uh, this first box head on here. We don't have a text sync add-on component on this object so it will add it for us here and if we look at it We'll see we now have the text sync component. Let's go back and now we'll add a clip. It will say default text when uh, this 
text is uh, not updated. And the length of the clip will be based on the words per minute that are set on the text sync component. So I'll show that here in just a second. Let me go ahead and update this. Well, let's go ahead and just demonstrate it right now. So if I change this to something really fast, then the clip will get shorter. So we'll set it to uh, 1000. And when we come back here, we see that as soon as I grab that, it will adjust it. And so it's, it's going a lot faster right now. And if I go back here and I set it to something really slow, uh, we'll just say 15 words per minute. And this is a basic words per minute calculation, just, just based on actual words, uh, regardless of the length of the word. So now when I check it, it's uh, actually quite long. And what will happen, uh, I will go ahead and delete this and this. And let me actually add some stuff in here. So I'll set this back to something a little more reasonable, 130 words per minute. This is our default text. So let me zoom back in here. Uh, we'll go ahead and let that play. And then I'll add another one here. And we'll change this to hello. And we see it's very small. As I add another word, it increases. Okay. And then we'll add one more. And this will just say one, two. And so you can see that you get a relative view of how long it's going to take Salsa uh, TechSync to play these back. And we'll do the same thing that we did before. We'll go ahead and lock the inspector. And let's go ahead and see what happens. We start saying the first clip. And we end. We start the next clip. End. Third clip. End. Okay, well, that is it for this update. I hope you found this interesting and educational, and as always, we look forward to seeing what you create. Thanks, and see you next time.